Hello everyone, no respawns here. Hope you're doing well and had a good holiday. Welcome back, welcome back. Back into the swing of things. I'm kind of dusting off the cobwebs. So this is Creep Manor. Now this isn't a full tour. I will kind of show you everything I've made. However, I've completed the courtyard, but I haven't really touched the house very much. I've done kind of what I call kind of bare decoration sense, just kind of getting an idea of the theme of each room. Quite simply put, this one seems to be taking ages by dinner, the fact that it's mostly decoration, there's not much building. And plus, I was I was going insane, guys, I had to make a video. <laughs> so I was like, right, fuck it, you guys get a work in progress. However, there's lots of me to show, so it's grand. So firstly, um, I probably do need to do a video on these doors here. The reason being is they're kind of less, like kind of a method to get this specific one in. Oh, also, those of you, I'm going to be doing, I won't be doing a, there's a unrated tour at the end bullshit, because I'm just going to do that when I've actually finished the entire thing. But yeah, I did need to do a video on those, because they're a bit, basically they sink a little bit. So to get them sitting in the door comfortably, you have to actually raise them up, and it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But firstly, this is something I'm trying to force myself to do in each settlement, is just kind of a unique piece of artillery. I'm actually completely loving this. This looks so good. <laughs> I haven't got it manned yet. However, I've been forgetting to put my artillery in my settlements, like, all the time. And there was no space inside, so I thought, you know, right, you know what I'll do is I'll just make it so there is a nice artillery piece outside. You know, I mean, fuck it. If, if a raider can get on the artillery here, well, they're not be able to hit this settlement from here, are they? And if they can be able to man it, then it probably fucked anyway. It looks cool out there anyway, so it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There's Piper just doing her thing. Right, let's go inside. So I've got me Covenant Walls. Those of you obviously remember I did the guide video on this. You're going to recognize quite a few structures in here. But yeah, this one is a very strange settlement in a lot of ways, because to me, this looks like it isn't finished, even though it is. And that drives me insane a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's, I think it's be I think it's because there's so much just kind of tarmac or concrete areas that I kind of feel like I wanted to add more stuff to it. I had to kind of stop. And also, you're going to find, or at least I find, with areas like this where I kind of obsess over what needs to go where. So let's just kind of go through it and let's see. So you probably recognise this structure. This is my... Um, I've always forgotten the damn name of the things already. My bunker that inspired me to make that bunker in that bunker shack thing in Spectacle Island. This was the original one that I made. As you can see, it's a bit shorter. I haven't actually decorated it very much inside. I was just not allowing myself to any indoor decoration bar a wee bit. So I've got my, my, my stuffs. But it's quite a nice cosy one. It looks better, I must admit, when it's longer. Um, just because I think you can kind of make a bit more. But it makes for a nice little tiny wee shack. Also, remember that door? I haven't used that door in ages. Had the door opening inside initially, but um, kind of didn't really have any room to open. So this is my little power armor area. Got my little workshop. A really good technique. Now I've actually started using FreeMaker. Uh, FreeMaker is a mod. Um, I'll put the link in the description. It basically allows you to go to the um these little uh, the what are they called? Thingy stations, chemist stations, science stations. Whatever the fuck they're called. I've forgotten the name. Blanked. Um, and basically you can create every single misc item. You can also make clothes and things. I only use it for decoration misc stuff. And it's really, really useful. What I've actually started doing now with my decoration is I just go through it and I just kind of build a little bit of everything I think I'm going to need rather than doing it individually. And then I can just kind of play stuff. So you see, for example, I've added more detail onto the side of the scavenger heart. You know, I've got, you know, for things like, for example, you know, you would never use a three pack of duct tape normally for decorations because you would have used it by this point but it's just kind of you know tube flanges and things and just kind of stuff it's just a good way of doing it because i always find when i use oc decorator i tend to never have things available and i kind of go in and like oh i want that and, and it's better just to kind of just build a bit of everything in one big go so as you can see they've also um the Unlock Seven Objects mod, they've got now normal and static versions of these mannequins. I didn't realise there were separate versions for a while until I read, actually read it. Um, the reason being is when these were first added, they would just kind of fall over all the time. So now you actually have static versions that you can't knock over, which is nice because I just like using them. I'm going to actually put the shop rugs in here. But quite simply put, I'm struggling to actually attract people to my settlement. I've only got two fuckers so far. And for some whatever reason, it's just taking ages, so oh well. My guards, by the way, he has got gunner gear with, in this instance, disciples clothing and then a gas mask. 
and he's got a one of the actual assault rifles and this guy just looks he's a normal he's actually not meant to be up here he's meant to be over there it's fine don't worry I'll, I'll allow you to nurture these plants this is i quite like this this is my diner I wanted to, this was actually quite a squeeze, because again, this area, right? I think because of the fact that I'm deliberately making my covenant, not covenant, um, creep manor rather, kind of all my settlements rather, kind of compact. Like for example, there's quite a lot of build area I haven't used. So you could probably, for example, extend the wall out and have loads of building space, but I wanted to compact. So I was really kind of like obsessing on where I build things. So anyway, this I'm quite pleased with. Now the way I did this was I sunk it into the ground. You can see there. Actually, don't mind, you can see that because it's quite blends in quite well. And I basically just kind of made this small little diner area. Little annoyance is you can't actually use OC Decorator to put items on these tables, which I learned to my dismay. Same thing here, where I'm actually going to get around to putting the rugs in with the traders. Quite simply put, I haven't actually got around to testing the trader rugs yet, which is why I haven't got. You see that right over there? See that? That flashing texture? I'm going to board that window up because that drives me insane. I think it's where you stand. It annoys me. But anyway, yes, very, very nice little uh, little canteen area. I still haven't, because I haven't really decorated the inside of the house, you'll see. I haven't really kind of decided on an end theme for the inside of the house. I'm kind of leaning towards just a bit more of an official Minuteman headquarters. Like, they've just kind of repurposed it. Because it has a kind of like, yeah, it just kind of repurposed for the, because it, it's quite a commanding structure. And it's quite also well positioned. You've obviously got um, Nadic, I think this island's called. Yeah, Nadic, the whole island here. And then you've got Fort Strong over there, which is where I kind of inspired another part as well. It's quite a nice area. So I'm kind of doing this more as like a headquarters as opposed to necessarily like a, you know, a kind of a boardy house. However, what I've tried to do is, um, you'll see on this side from the furniture I have in there, that I'm using the nicer furniture as a template given the I, I want it to look like they did, they've just occupied it anyway i've got my little pallets here which have got the nuke um the mini nukes and various scavenged gear i'm gonna add more junk to this actually because it looks a little bit sparse there's no actual junk decoration because obviously you've got fort strong it's over where is it it's over there i think roughly or it, it's it's near here somewhere i always forget where it is but it's, it's around this side i thought the idea was kind of weird that you know f no one had once tried to scavenge those mini nukes, so I thought, okay, let's have a little mini nuke. Just a little session, yeah. Maybe I might even give one of these guys mini nukes, though I'm kind of a fat man's rather, but I'm a bit, uh, bit apprehensive because he might blow shit up. Now, these here, these towers, actually come in the Unlock Seven Objects mod. And they're the ones, those of you who have done uh, pretty much any of the... Basically, if you've even met the Brotherhood of Steel, um, these are the areas that they use to actually reinforce the airport and I'm going to be doing a build with these somewhere but they make very funky little towers like little kind of just wee little guard towers they're actually guard rugs I'm going to put in here as well but basically they're pretty cool all I've gone and done is not any glitches at all just put the tower down I put the railings from the contraptions from the scaffolding tab and then from the scaffolding tab as well you've got these tiny little ladders and it just they just make really really nice little towers there's actually no turrets here as well i've got to get around to popping them in alone time now piper so i really like the way the courtyard works i am going to give you a quick tour of the inside and don't worry i will be doing uh, another tour of this but it'll be just think of this as just the underrated tour this is me just getting back into the rhythm of things after christmas god this one took ages though it really took ages. I just couldn't decide where to put stuff. Like, for example, like, I really like this space. I'm really obsessive, by the way, with space. It probably doesn't maybe reveal itself so much when I'm building my structures. When I'm building an individual, like, I'm just showing you a building, I'm not too bothered. But when I'm actually building a settlement, I'm really obsessive on where things go. And that's pretty much what takes, like, at least half to two-thirds of the time is me going, um, um, I don't know where to put stuff. But anyway, I really, really like this. It's just kind of like, I wanted to fill this up with something, but I couldn't have necessarily an actual structure. Think of this as just filler scrap. So it's just like a crate and loads of bollocks. I've got my wee guard dog. You can't see his name. I think it's like Nibbin or something like that. People always ask me this. I'm just remind you, can, there is a, I won't spoil it too much, but if you go to Far Harbor, there's a crashed plane and you can actually buy guard dogs from this guy. And he restocks as well. So anyway, let's just have a look inside and I can show you. Kind of like, again, this is very sparsely decorated. This is basically just me 
outlining what I wanted the rooms and also to kind of get a, a theme to work behind. So you'll see with this here. So this is kind of the posher room here, kind of the dining room, I guess. But I've already started kind of... What I want to do is take the well-designed, nice part. So like the kind of the creep family, you know, expensive furniture and actually then wastelandy a little bit. So I, for example, I've already put the kit bags here. The idea being that the Minutemen have basically just repurpose this, but they've kept the furniture, because why not? That's the idea, you know. A nice building that has just been occupied by the Minutemen. So I've done, I've done fuck all down here. And I've decided not to repair these holes as well. I'm just going to leave them as is. I think it weirdly... I think it looks better me not repairing them than it does me, me repairing them. So up here, the same thing. I really hate that smoke. It drives me insane. So I've kept it quite, again, see, this is kind of getting the idea of where there is. Let me show you where the rooms are so you just know what I'm planning. <clears throat> so there's the entranceway, and this will be dining room, and I'm thinking of actually turning this to maybe as a slight war room. So the idea being that they would maybe, I'm going to make it look like they're not only eating here, but they're also maybe planning operations here. This will be a desk area here, just kind of little, I don't know what this area is actually, maybe just a meeting area. But these areas are actually planned, so... This is actually going to be uh, a kind of mini office, so it's, I'm going to have lots of like typewriters and stuff like that, so it looks like a kind of where they coordinate stuff, maybe kind of the bureaucracy of the area. This is actually going to be a literal chill area. Again, you see what I mean? And it's a really good recommendation if you've got a big structure like this, you don't, because it is very, very overwhelming when you're decorating these structures to think, what the fuck do I do with these areas? Just sparsely decorate them with an idea, and then you can come back and it just makes it a little bit easier. This is actually just going to be a storeroom, a safe, because why not? And as you can see here, I've already planned it. So there are going to be six dudes in here. I've already got a plan for my provisioners because obviously provisioners, I think the two of the provisioners are actually based here and they're going from here to the other settlements. So because they don't actually obviously sleep anywhere, I'm just going to get some sleeping bags and just sink them into the earth outside because <laughs> they actually need them. Now here... Oh god, that's bright. I know what to do with this area now. I was kind of like, uh, uh, didn't really know. So this is going to be where I actually grow my crops, I think. This is actually going to be a proper farm area. I was actually going to maybe put some electrical equipment up here, and I might as well. But I think half of this area is going to be just basically loads of kind of planters and stuff. But it, it looks really nice. Look at that. I especially like the fact that I put the... Um, the uh, windmill on the statue. You can actually scrap that entire statue using the scrap goals and objects mod. However, I just didn't want to do it because I just, I don't know, I liked it. And it, it looked nice with the uh, with the windmill around it. So yeah, I hope you guys like what I've done so far. I know this isn't uh, actually a complete summon. I haven't actually done a full settlement tour. Technically, if you don't count home play in ages. So what I'm going to be doing soon alongside... Um, Finishing off, obviously, this settlement here. I'm also still going to be doing actual build videos. And I want to start getting into doing mod videos again. So mod reviews. And also I'm going to start maybe ramping up finishing at least the settlements I've started. So we've got quite a lot of months. A lot, a lot, a lot of months of Fallout. Mainly because there's just so much stuff I want to do. However, I just kind of want to finish off the stuff on this save, especially, that we've kind of already started. So anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. I'll have a new video up soon. And you guys, enjoy your week. Enjoy your new year. I probably will talk to you before then, but still, enjoy your new year. Anyway, take care.